Hello everybody, welcome to today's live webinar. This is live from Virginia. Uh, this is David Lim from Regulatory Doctor. Today we are going to dive into implementing design control for medical devices and in virtual diagnostic medical devices. This is a general disclaimer for your own review when you get a chance. Well, today's webinar scope, this webinar is intended to help you get familiar with design control requirement uh, as part of current good manufacturing practice, CGMP for medical devices. In fact, that CGMP is the uh, Title 21 Code of Federal Regulations, CFR Part A20. This webinar is further intended to provide guidance on implementing the design control requirement uh, that are subject to uh, what I just stated, 21 CFR Part 820, that is quality system regulations, which is the uh, equivalent to CGMP for medical devices as well as IVD. The uh, objectives of today's webinar include, we are going to talk about some statutes and regulations and including the definitions, design development planning, design input and output, design review and design verification and validation, including software verification and validation, design transfer, design changes, and also design history file, device history record, and device master record and conclusions. Now this slide talks about quality system regulation. In fact, the uh, CGMP that we talk about is promulgated under Section 520 of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, commonly called FDNC Act. Regarding design control, uh, well, this actually uh, GMP was effective as of June 1st, 1997. However, regarding design control, it was uh, the FDA gap one year uh, for uh, uh, compliance. Well, so uh, regarding design control, it was effective as of June 1st, 1998. Well, please note that the uh, good understanding of design control regulation per se is no insurance to designing safe and effective medical devices. The, uh, according to the uh, regulation, the device manufacturers are required to uh, establish various specification and controls. And also the uh, manufacturers are required that designs be designed on the quality system and also device be manufactured on the quality system and also device be correctly installed, checked, and surfaced, and quality data be analyzed, including complaints. Now let's look at the, uh, the components, well, so parts and sections uh, on the 21 CFR Part 820. But well, since this is a part, there's a so part A, B, uh, C, and et cetera. And today, the, uh, we are going to hammer on 21 CFR part A20, so part C design control, in particular section A20.30, that is design control. Well, quality system regulation, again, just to mention that in the United States government, there are three branches, executive, judicial, and legislative. And U.S. Congress makes laws. The U.S. President is the head of the executive branch of the government. The executive branch, in fact, implements laws, and they are the one who makes regulations based on the law. And there are 15 uh, executive departments. One of them is DHHS, Department of Health and Human Services, where FDA belongs to. 